what is going on guys and welcome back to another video my name is jeremy and this is jeremy's wild world so as you saw from today's title today we're going to be unboxing and rehousing the absolutely gorgeous cubara species rubber ducky now if you guys are in the ice pod world you would know that cubara species rubber ducky is by far one of the most popular species um with, in regards to the cubara genus and ice pods in general i've definitely been wanting to keep this species again um i did actually keep these a long time ago if you're a long time subscriber you would remember i did an unboxing video for cubara species rubber ducky a couple years ago um, uh, I did decently well with that colony. Um, they pretty much did okay, I guess. I had some manka from them, so I did manage to capture breed some. But unfortunately, the colony ended up crashing on me. And since then, I haven't been able to uh, find you know a group for a decent price. You know, they are usually very very expensive. But a massive shout out to Adam from Micro Exotics. He had a deal going on for a group of ten, so I'm really really excited to unbox them and show them off to you guys today. Absolutely beautiful species. Now, before we get into today's video, guys, I just want to quickly say that according to my YouTube statistics, a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. Now, without further ado, let's get into unboxing the absolutely gorgeous isopods. So this is the box I'm going to be opening today, of course, coming from the one and only Micro Exotics, an absolutely fantastic company here in the UK in regards to terrariums and custodians, custodians being, you know, your isopods and stuff like that. So definitely go check out Micro Exotics if you haven't already. I will leave the link down in the description below to all of their social medias, including their website. So highly recommend doing so if you're interested in isopods and stuff like that. So, of course, today we're going to be unboxing some uh, rubber duckies. Absolutely fantastic deal that he managed to do, which was 125 posted for 10 rubber rubber duckies now that is the best price i've seen in the uk in regards to these for quite some time you know i have seen like you know groups of five going for about 90 quid so you know 125 for 10 is really really awesome and you know what i want to always point out is packaging when it comes to unboxings and micro exotics has always been fantastic as you can see he's poked some air holes within the box to ensure that there's constant circulation within the live insect stickers handled with care with the um, arrows pointing up uh, because you know royal fail here in the uk is a little bit dodgy when it comes to boxes but you can tell this box in general is just absolutely perfect condition fragile tape and then of course uh, my little logo at the front uh, well not a logo youtube name and then that's my address so of course the two stamps were here but i peeled those off uh, but yes yeah, so let's just stop the chit chat and we'll crack open the box i'm really really excited i haven't had duckies for a couple of years now and you know i did have a colony that did produce manka but unfortunately the culture did crash on me i do believe those uh, were wild caught um the original ones i did get i have done an unboxing of these on my channel before so if you want to go check that out free feel free to do so uh, but yeah so let's just crack open this box what amazing packaging as always okay that's gonna stay so here is the business card so you can see he does like little terrariums and stuff he does like kits for them and stuff like that uh, but yeah so definitely go check out micro exotics if you haven't already can never sing praises enough for these guys add a massive shout out to you dude so let's pop these off and as you can see fantastic packaging um you know nicely insulated uh with it being warm in the uk there's no need for a heat pack and you can see nice and secure within the tub Oh wow, so he's actually thrown in 12. Oh, nice, a massive shout out, dude. Thank you so, so much. But yes, so these are the Cubaras species rubber ducky. And let's just open the lid and have a look inside. Oh, wow. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And one isopod I've been wanting to try again for so, so long. These are a really, really good size. You can see that one is pretty much adult next to a, probably a juvenile subadult. Really, really beautiful. And you can see why they call them rubber duckies. Look at that face. It lo just looks like a little rubber duck, doesn't it? But yeah, there's not even any need to dig around in here. They're everywhere. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. There's some down there, but let's just take a look at these ones here. Really, really pretty. And I'm so excited to be able to work with this species once again. And again, Adam, dude, massive shout out to you for the opportunity to work with this species. And yeah, so if you guys haven't checked them out already, why are you still watching? <laughs> well, you've got to watch because you've got to see how I'm going to set these guys up. Um, but definitely do go over and check out Micro Exotics if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, so let's get some more up close footage and then we'll get into rehousing these absolutely gorgeous isopods into a setup. And me explaining why I've set them up the way I have. So I've got to head off camera and set up the tub for these stunning Cubara species rubber duckies. Now let's pan out and talk about why I've set it up the way I have. So let's just take a look. Here it is right here, nice and simple in a little cheap bra plus tub. 
Now, I like to use these for my isopods because, you know, they're cheap, they stack well, and, uh, you know, they're great for beginner colonies because what you want with a beginner colony in regards to uh, isopods is something that's a little bit more smaller than you would typically expect. This is because you want the individuals within the colony, you know, whether you're starting with 5, 10, 20, you want them to interact more often than um, not. This is because, you know, there's more higher chances of breeding and stuff like that. So the smaller tub that you have, but you want to also make sure that you give enough uh, gradient for them. Uh, although Kubara species rubber ducky do come from caves, um, I'm going to majority of the substrate will be kept quite damp, but I will have a dry side in case the rubber duckies do want to go on the other side. So the substrate I've gone and used is my Detrivore mix. So this is a mixed substrate that I make myself with ingredients being topsoil, peat moss, flake soil, leaf mulch, and uh, yeah, a little bit of rotting white wood inside that substrate. This is perfect for all detritus inverts, not just isopods, you know, your roaches, your millipedes and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so I've gone ahead and used that. Of course, I've used some moss I got from Cambridge Nutrition in the side. This is because you want to maintain humidity. All Kubara species, majority of them do come from caves, so you do want to ensure that that's humidity, uh, not substrate humidity. Mainly air humidity is very high, so they don't dry out because you've got to remember isopods are crustaceans and they do breathe using their gills. So you need to make sure that their gills are able to be, uh, you know, constantly damp. Uh, and yeah, so, you know, other bits I like to talk about is the cork bark hide. Of course, you've got to have something for the Kubaris to hide in. I like to use cork bark again because it's cheap and uh, it looks good, natural. And then I've also added this. So you're probably wondering what this is. So this is actually a uh, calcified moss I got from Curtis Lankin here in the UK. So this originally was moss and, you know, you can see all the minerals and stuff. Uh, Kubaris seem to love this. Uh, they, I just have... Um, then with my Kibara species panda kings, my uh, blue angels I got at the uh, capital show. And then I also have them with my new Sudillo ex Kibaris uh, species Shiro Utsuri. And they will utilize it as a hide and they will eat it as well. So this is a great calcium change rather than just using cuttlebone. I prefer this now because it looks a lot more natural than cuttlebone. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much the enclosure setup. Uh, basically, you want to do this with like the majority of Kibaris. You know, you can change up your substrate. I know some people use back guano. I personally don't. Um, but I might try it out in the future, you know, people use worm castings, you know, you just use your substrate that you um, feel, uh, you know, comfortable with, set it up the way I have today, and this is pretty much how I would set up most Kubara setups, um, but yeah, so let's just stop talking about these, and actually move on to rehousing the Kubara species rubber ducky. So we now move on to the final part of today's video, which is actually going to rehouse these absolutely gorgeous Kubara species rubber duckies. So let's just pop open the lid and have a look at once again. Looks like some of them have buried down in here, but don't worry, we're pouring all the contents of this tub into... Oh, but just take a look at that, guys. Come on, look how cute. So many, and I can't wait for these guys to breed. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is simply just take off the cork bark for the time being, and simply pop the whole tub inside. Looks like the tub did come with substrate and moss, so what I'll do, I'll disperse some of the moss on the sides of the enclosure. More moss just means more humidity, and you know, they did come with some substrate and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, they're all in here now, absolutely gorgeous. Just show off one, one more time. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that face, rubber duckies. <laughs> I'm so excited with these and you know, I am really looking forward to seeing this culture boom in the future. So fingers crossed for me guys, I will hopefully do an update video in the next few months because if you guys don't know, Kibara species rubber ducky do have small brood piles which the max I believe it's only about six at a time. Whoa, don't know what happened there, sorry guys, I think the camera just cut out. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, um, these do have really, really small brood piles and I wanted to say that hopefully in the future I'll be able to update you guys and, you know, eventually distribute these within the UK. Um, again, a massive shout out to Micro Exotics for the opportunity to work with these absolutely gorgeous isopods once again. And uh, yeah, so that is pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let's get into the outro and end today's video. So that is the end of today's video, guys. What do you think? What an absolutely gorgeous species these Kubara species rubber duckies are. I absolutely love them. They look just like a rubber ducky, just so, so cute. And I'm really excited to finally have these back in my collection again. Again, a massive shout out to Adam from Micro Exotics for the opportunity to, for me to work with the species again. 
If you guys are interested in your custodian needs and you're in the UK, definitely check out the links down in the description below. I highly recommend Adam. Absolutely fantastic. So I will hopefully be updating you guys in regards to breeding with these. Fingers crossed they do really well for me this time around. I have improved my substrates and stuff like that. And I do have, of course, the, um, the tougher calcite, the calcified moss. So hopefully that does help with the breeding and stuff like that. And yeah, so that's the end of today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I really appreciate it. If you would, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I also really appreciate if you guys were following me on Instagram, Jeremy's Wild World underscore, as well as my Facebook page, Jeremy's Wild World. I'm really active on there posting pictures and videos of the animals and infants I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. So that's all for me today, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.